I was in Cincinnati for the mock trial national tournament. I get the call, I see it's a, a Berkeley caller ID, and I'm like, oh my God, this is it. It's the prizes committee chair, and he goes, congratulations, you're the university medalist. I didn't believe it. I don't focus so much on my GPA, but rather finding classes that I feel passionate about. And I think that passion automatically translates into putting in the hard work and understanding the material and making sure you really get it. I grew up in an island, Singapore, and for me, climate change issues are something that's very pressing because rising sea levels threatens where I'm from. And so when I took classes that focuses on climate or on the environment, it comes from a deeply scented need to change the issue in the future because the security of where I'm from depends on it. So my mom passed away in the December of 2013 and um, my family didn't exactly tell me why I was supposed to fly home. I saw my dad, my grandpa. I couldn't break down because if I did, they would be gone. But coming back was probably the hardest thing I have ever done. I saw like my mom in the smallest of things. Freshmen were moving into the dorms and my mom had flown in with me my freshman year to do the same. And it's those little things that you don't expect would hit you hit you the hardest. It was so important to me to have my friends from mock trial, my, my friends from the dorms. They checked in on me every week. A lot of them checked in on me on Mother's Day because they knew it would be a hard time for me. My faculty members, oh my God, I don't know how I, I would have gotten through that period without that understanding. There's so many reasons I love Cal. First, of course, is the academic excellence at this institution. Nowhere else you're going to find that many Nobel laureates, professors who are published and well-known in their field, and the ability to take classes across different disciplines, regardless of the discipline that you are from. And I think that really broadens your mind. Second would be the students and your peers that you meet here. They come from so many different walks of life. Everyone has their own story and it's really interesting to get to know them. And finally, of course, is the campus itself. It's, it's beautiful. I don't think anywhere else you have the opportunity to stand up near the Campanile and just get an entire view of the bay.